Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and improvements available on Windows 11 build 25.136. This preview comes with some interesting changes, but they are not tied to any specific release of Windows 11, however, we're expecting them to arrive version 23H2, but Microsoft may choose to include them or discard any of these features at any time. Some of these features may even roll out before the next feature update. Ok, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 25136. This preview of Windows 11 includes an updated version of File Explorer that officially brings support for tabs and a redesigned layout for the navigation pane on Windows 11. Support for tabs has been available before as a hidden feature on build 22572, but it was later removed and scrapped for version 22H2 on build 25136 tabs are officially back and the app even comes with a redesigned navigation pane as you can see on the left that make it easier to navigate files and folders. On File Explorer, tabs works just like the experience on the web browser. Instead of having multiple instances of the app, you can now use one instance to navigate multiple folders and drive locations. So when you open the app, you will now see that you have a plus button that allows you to create a new tab. You can also right click a folder and then open that folder into a new tab. You can rearrange the position of the tabs. That's still kind of buggy, so it doesn't work really well, but it's pretty good. You can also right click a tab and access the context menu that allows you to close the tab, close other tabs, and you can even close the tabs on the right. You can also use some keyboard shortcuts to work with tabs in File Explorer. And for example, we can use the Control T keyboard shortcut to create a new tab. You can also use the Control W to close the current tab. And you can even use the middle button of the mouse to close a tab. On build 25136, File Explorer also includes a redesigned navigation pane on the left, as you can see right here. The new visual changes provide easy access to pin and frequently use folders and OneDrive profiles. And as you can see, now the OneDrive profile will show the name of the user associated with that account. My account is called user demo, so that's that's why you see user right here on the item. Also, according to Microsoft, when navigating folders syncing to OneDrive, the address bar will display the correct path to make it easier to understand when the folders are in the cloud versus when they're locally available to you. File Explorer is also making changes to the this PC page, which will no longer include a list of the known folders, including documents, downloads, music, pictures, and others. And it will now just be to access your devices and drives, as you can see right here. And that's it. That was a quick view of the improved File Explorer on Windows 11 build 25.136. Now, tabs and the new navigation experience, it's only available to some users because Microsoft has just begun testing these new improvements. However, there is a way that you can enable these two features. And that's using a tool called Vive Tool. I will be leaving a link in the video description with the steps on how you can do this on your computer if you have the latest preview of Windows 11. And just to show you really quick, you just need to download the Vive Tool from this GitHub page. And then you want to extract the files. I already have it right here. And then we want to open command prompt on that location. So we type CMD on the address bar and that will just open command prompt. Now in command prompt, we want to type two specific commands. The first command will enable tabs on File Explorer. And to do that, we just type the command as you see it on the screen and press enter and then we want to enable the navigation improvements and we're going to be using this command 
and then we're gonna press enter and then at this point you just want to restart the computer and the next time you use file explorer you should be able the new improvements on your computer windows 11 build 25136 also introduces an updated version of the taskbar that enables it to show dynamic widget content so in addition of what you see on the dashboard you will now be able to see live content right on the taskbar as you can see right here for some reason i still don't see it on my computer so that's why i'm showing you this screenshot from microsoft the company also says that the taskbar will return to showing the weather if you don't interact with the content update that you see right here finally i also wanted to show you that on build 25 126 the accounts settings section has been updated and now it will include information about the office perpetual products such as office 2021 or office 2019 instead of just the information from your microsoft 365 subscription you also notice a new view details options that reveal more details about the product available through your microsoft online account and that's it that was a quick look to windows 11 build 25 136 and we also looked at some of the improvements from previous builds up to build 25 126. remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing